to my dad. Let it rip. Hi, everybody. How are you? Good morning, afternoon. Indeed, afternoon. And we're going to start right with our questions. Our first question will come from Kevin Fraser of Entertainment Tonight. How are you? Um, you're known for your elaborate costume changes. How many costume changes will you try to cram into 13 minutes? And also, on your Instagram today, you Instagrammed a little bee on one of your posts. Is that a hint to someone who could show up during your performance? Oh, boy, do you guys read into everything, Yes, don't we you? do. Yes, we do. Um, well, I, I don't like to use the word cram uh, when it comes to fashion. Right. Because, uh, you know. Uh, but I uh, don't want to give away also how many costume changes I'm doing. We will be doing some very interesting and exciting stuff during this show, and I'm excited for you to see it. Don't read anything into that little bee? Uh, <laughs> We're in Houston. I, you know what? Um, I wouldn't read into it, no. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Now, Lady Gaga, we mentioned that you were a back-to-back performer in the Super Bowl. We have a next question from someone who was the Super Bowl MVP in back-to-back -back years, 1979 and 1980, Terry Bradshaw of Fox Sports. Hi, Hi Lady Terry. Gaga. How, how are you? Doing? Good morning. How are it's you? It's an honor to meet you. I've never done one of these before, but I, uh, nothing like this. I've done it. Your you first know, time. I'm happy I'm here for it. You're the biggest star I've ever looked at. I did sing with <laughs> one of the Beatles, but I screwed the song up, so I'm not about to do that this morning. <laughs> Eleandro is a great song, and Howie Long, my buddy at Fox, that's his favorite song. Edge of Glory is one of my favorite songs of yours. Thank you. And I just, uh, curious, will these two songs make it on the set that you're going to perform? You know, I don't want to give away what songs I'm, I'm singing for the halftime show because I feel like it's going to ruin the surprise. Uh, but we okay. went through my whole career and chose songs that I hope that uh, both the football fans and the people that are just tuning in for the halftime show will enjoy. And, uh, you know, I got to tell you, this is a big, big win for me with my grandma right now because half of my family are massive Steelers fans. And I she hear. is wigging out on the couch right Let's now see. watching this. Hi, is she a single lady or? Uh, <laughs> you know. I actually have my wife here. That's she, just a funny line. I'm just she using She is it. single, <laughs> but she's a widow. And my grandpa, Aww. she loved him so much. I don't know if she ever would date another man. But well, would you wish her happy birthday? I will. Happy birthday. Ronnie Bissett. Ronnie what? Bissett. Bissett? Yeah. Happy <laughs> birthday, Ronnie Bissett. There you are. That's 50 bucks you owe me. My mom. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm sorry I couldn't perform with you at halftime. You asked me to sing with you, and I'm busy doing the pregame show. I'd oh, much rather be with you. Okay? I'm disappointed. And so am I, extremely. And also, I know that your mother is a Pittsburgh gal. And she, yes, she is. And, and I actually would like to get, actually, her name is Cynthia. Yes, that's Ronnie's daughter. And I daughter. autographed this She's little right cheap there. football for her. Oh. And uh, it just says, oh, thanks so much for being a fan. Love you, Terry Bradshaw. Thank I, you so much. And where is your, where's your mom? She's right there. Where, oh, there's mom. I'm not going to throw it. I, I've been sued once before for throwing them <laughs> and breaking a lady's nose, and that wasn't funny. I thought it was funny. You know, my mom was head cheerleader at her uh, college, and she is there. trying really hard not to squeal right now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank You're you. so sweet. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, our next question will come from the left from Nickelodeon. Is that Kel Mitchell? It, it is, is Kel. <laughs> Hi, Lady Gaga. Hi, Kel. How are you? This is from the kids. Uh, do you have any memories as a kid watching the Super Bowl halftime shows? Absolutely. I mean, I was talking to somebody the other day that as much as I've always wanted to be an artist, I, I didn't really decide I wanted to uh, be a musician until a little bit later in my life. And uh, I think I saw the halftime show before I even made the decision that I wanted to try to be a songwriter. Uh, watching Michael Jackson do the halftime show is one of the fondest memories that I have. He encapsulates everything that you love about a great performer. You watch him go on stage and you can see that he's getting his head into the zone and he's having a true defining moment of what it must feel like to be a champion. So um, 
I would have to say yes. Many inspiring moments. That's awesome. Thank you. Next question from AJ Calloway of Extra, right in the middle. Hey, Gaga, how you doing? Hi, how's it going? I'm hanging in there. So first, I got to say, I interviewed Mr. Tony Bennett, and he said that you were the best performance at his birthday celebration. He was hands down. There's a chemistry between the two of you all. Um, did you talk to him at all about your halftime performance? Because I know he's done it before. Any advice from him? You know, I, I did talk to Tony, and uh, Tony always encourages me to uh, just tell the story of the songs and to stay uh, grounded in, you know, my craft and who I am as an artist. And he's just wonderful. Uh, you know, I'm friends with a lot of people, but I think that uh, my friendship with Tony Bennett is one of the most valuable things, things to me. He's a tremendously wise man. And also just wanted to ask you, uh, I know you spoke about kind of taking this moment to unify America a little bit. Are you going to do that at all? Or are you going to make any kind of statements during the performance? Um, well, I don't know if I will succeed in unifying America. You'll have to ask America when it's over. Uh, but uh, the only statements that I'll be making during the halftime show are the ones that I have been consistently making throughout my career. I believe in a passion for inclusion. I believe in the spirit of equality and uh, the uh, spirit of this country as one of love and compassion and kindness. So my performance will uphold those philosophies. Now, we're very happy to be able to have someone who uh, we watched this summer. We gathered around. We had some hot buttered corn. We have from Inside Edition, gold medalist Simone Biles has a question. Hi, Simone. Hi, how are you? How are you? Okay, so. I'm well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. So in gymnastics, we're used to high-flying acts. Can you give us an insight of what you're going to be doing if you're going to be hanging from the ceiling? You know, I don't want to give that away. Uh, I want to keep as much of the show to surprise as possible. But I will say that it is a tremendously athletic show. And it's something that we really talked about when we were creating the halftime experience. I mentioned that I thought it was important for us to consider, you know, high uh, uh, adrenaline. Uh, when you're watching football, you're watching guys crash into each other. You're watching some real strategizing happening. It's a pretty intense situation, and I didn't want the halftime show to take a dip. So uh, it's going to be a good time. So from an Olympic gymnast, do you need any pointers? <laughs> yes. Um, just to make sure you have fun and squeeze your body once you're flying in the air and just to remember all your memories. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I, I need to have you there on the side of the field before we start. <laughs> Thank you. And also, um, I just wanted to say I love all of the work that you do with uh, foster children. It's really Thank amazing. You. You're Thank an inspiration. You. Thank you. Thank you, Simone. Our next question, Scott Evans from Access Hollywood. How are you, Gaga? Hi. Scott Evans from Access Hollywood. Oh, I can here. barely see you. I know, right? That's a <laughs> light, that's a light. Oh, my bad, my bad. So now you, you told us that not to read into the B too much. We're in Houston. I wonder, have you talked to Beyonce about the halftime performance? She's done it a couple times. Has she given you any advice, any things to look out for? You know, um, Beyonce, I was actually with her uh, the last halftime show that she did. And uh, she always um, is very inspiring and gives great advice. You know, she's a very uh, focused and genuine performer. Um, I have sent her flowers uh, since I've heard of her uh, amazing new news on the way. Uh, so I'm excited about her new child. And uh, I'm going to be taking uh, the spirit of many performers with me on that stage when I go up there. I'm grateful to have uh, wonderful women in this business that are supportive of me. Also mentioned your mother being a uh, a cheerleader. I wonder if you guys will be doing any more cartwheels. We loved seeing those on your Instagram earlier this week. Oh, we have some things planned for this weekend. I feel like we need to really up the ante on the Instagram videos. Me and mom do good ones together. That was such a fun moment. You know, we went onto the field for the first time. I've been doing the halftime show many times over on a replica stage, but to walk into the stage that was on the field was really spectacular. And my mom and I met in the end zone and had a really special mother-daughter moment. Okay, our next question is gonna come from a Super Bowl champion representing NFL UK, Osu yes. Yumanara. Yes, 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 absolutely, absolutely. 
Listen, um, Miss Gaga, I'm your biggest fan, and I mean that literally because, you know, I'm quite a large guy. And as you can see, I have this excellent t-shirt right here. But listen, I tried to sing one of your songs on our shows, the Papa